Hillary Duff's $4 million, Beverly Hills Mansion, Lifestyle and More 2023, Early Life and Career Hillary Urhard Duff was born on September 28, 1987 in Houston, Texas, to Susan Duff, Nee Cobb, and Robert Urhard Duff, a mate in convenience store chain. When Hillary was six, she had been traveling in the Sacchetti Ballet with her family Haley Duff, but decided she wanted to fulfill her dream of acting. Her first starring part was when she played the youthful witch Wendy in Casper Meets Wendy, 1998. Duff came a teen hero when she starred in the hashtag one mega hit Disney Channel series Lizzie McGuire, 2001. She has also starred in the pictures, the Lizzie McGuire movie, 2003. Agent Cody Banks, 2003. Cheaper by the Dozen, 2003. A Cinderella Story, 2004. Raise Your Voice, 2004. The Perfect Man, 2005. And Cheaper by the Dozen 2, 2005. Also, Duff stormed the music maps with Mates, So History, and Come Clean, settling nicely into the top 40. Hillary's first reader, Transformation, debuted at Hashtag 2 on the Billboard 200 and ultimately mounted to Hashtag 1 the following weeks. She starred in Material Girls 2006 with her family Haley Duff and released her fourth plant reader, Quality 2007 with Hollywood Records. In 2015, she released her fifth plant reader, Breathe In, Breathe Out. She stars as Kelsey Peters in Youngish 2015. So this is all about her early life and career, now let's look at his health and lifestyle. Health and Lifestyle The How I Met Your Father star was quoted as saying, I'm appreciating my health, doing conditioning that make me feel strong, rather of just bettering the outside of my body. In the history, numerous celebrities have openly talked about their eating diseases, so as to raise mindfulness. Among them have been actor Sophie Turner and British diver Tom Daly. According to the National Association of Anorexia Nervosa and Associated Diseases, eating diseases can affect at least 9% of the population worldwide. Hilary Duff, too, had opened up about her own struggles and complicated relationship with food, stemming from non-age anxieties. The actor, while speaking with Women's Health Australia, participated that she plotted with a horrifying eating complaint for a time when she was 17 times old. The Disney Channel alum also talked about her body dysmorphia. Because of my career path, I can't help but be like, I want camera and actresses are skinny. It was horrifying. The Lizzie McGuire actor recalled, she has a go. Of course, developed a healthy relationship with her body. Spending time with people that make me feel good and share analogous views on health and body positivity and getting enough sleep and balance in my diet. Before this time, she had decided to pose raw for the cover of the magazine. I am proud that it's produced three children for me. I have gotten to a place of being peaceful with the changes my body has gone through. She was quoted as saying. So that was all about health and lifestyle. Now let's quickly have a look at his relationship and love affairs. Relationship and love affairs and real life. However, Duff has formerly set up her perfect mate in hubby Matthew Coma. Off screen, of course. Duff's love life is much more settled and also chaotic, as is bound to be when you are busy raising three kitties. Who's the man who captured her heart? Yes, Duff is married to Coma, a tuna smith, patron and musician. The couple live in Los Angeles, where they are holding down a busy schedule of filming, family, press engagements, tenures, musicals, and further. Despite their high profile, you will not see Duff and Coma out on the city living it up. I'll always choose sandwiches at 8 p.m., bedtimes over fancy date nights, over and over again. She wrote on Instagram in 2020, my stylish friend, nut and pop bear that could not be battled it's always been you. Duff reiterated her wedded bliss on the couple's alternate marriage anniversary, posting a print of them at their marriage form with the caption, guy of my dreams, pop bear, stylish friend, good mortal, that's all. Meatly enough, music brought the brace together. Coma and Duff banded on her 2015 reader, breathe in breathe out, and hit it off incontinently. They had great chemistry in the plant. 
Hillary thinks Matt is veritably talented and cute. Duff latterly told Vogue, the brace also had a memorable two-hour lunch together around that time that also sealed their fellowship. There was an instant spark, because I suppose when you were walking into a professional meeting, you know nothing about the other person. I didn't know if he was dating someone, she said. And also when we started talking about music, effects started sparking and he was being funny enough, not kiddenish, but funny enough to where we started creating a badenage and a nice fellowship right off the club. Well, it looks like her love life wasn't very good. Let's look at her net worth and her assets. Net worth and her assets. Hilary Duff is an American actress who has a net worth of around $30 million. Hilary Duff is one of the richest celebrities in the Hollywood film assiduity, and she loves to spend millions of bones on precious cultures. She's the proprietor of a beautiful Georgian style house, which she's been in ever since she was pregnant with her first child Luca nearly a decade ago. Hillary's home she bought eight times ago when she was pregnant with her first child. Her space is an airy sanctuary and precisely decorated with the changing seasons of life in mind. It's clear how important love Hillary has put into her children's bedrooms, how she's suitable to have adult spaces while being realistic about sprat messes. She's set up perfect spots in her home for her most prized pieces and has indeed given birth in one of the apartments upstairs. It would be easy to overlook the airy space from the outside of the home, because it's not conspicuous until outside. Then's a look at the inside of the massive frontal door. There is loads of space for musketeers and family to pile in, and views of the frontal door from the farthest corner of the living room. It's clear right down that Hillary Duff loves quirky cabinet work and is not hysterical to play with colors or texture. In this home, which is a 264 quart bottom Georgian style mats. There are plenitude of different areas that can use a pop of color, and Hillary does that well. Loads of seating then for the kitties or musketeers coming for a party. Hillary said in her home stint that this large credenza is her favorite piece she owns. I suppose it's from the 50s, and it reminds me of a corset, she said, adding that it was one of the first big purchases she made after allowing about it for days at 18 or 19 times old. On the other side of the two discussion chairpersons is a large curving staircase that opens to a bounded ceiling upper position. The carpet has that age feel to it, with quaint charm and pops of color. This was created by weaving together three different hair pieces, so it has a unique sense to it. Hillary said this room in her house is where the heart is, because it's where she and her children spend utmost of their time. She hid down all their toys for the stint, but was open in participating that on a normal day. This room is full of Sprat toy clutter, and she loves it that way. The celebrity mama also participated that this room is where she and the children like to watch TV together guilt-free. The fun point? Then's that the picture frame with the cow hands is the factual TV. It has a screensaver, so when it's not being used to watch cartoons or reality television, it blends into the room as digital artwork, which can rotate the image. Star isn't hysterical of trying out fun patterns to bring commodity pleasing to the eye. Then, it's the large bold penstocks that bring a pop of fun into the kitchen, which overlooks the heart of the home TV room. Hillary took time to note that the fruit on the counter generally has bite marks on each piece, courtesy of her son, Banks. So this is all for today's video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we upload a video video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in next one.